the manual filing of a reimbursement process can be troublesome and it costs time as well as money. But a startup company in Indonesia found the solution for this problem by setting up an application called Jojonomic. Indonesia Now's Iqbal Himawan spoke to its CEO, Indrasto Budi Santoso, to elaborate more about this application. Jojonomic is an expense reimbursement system. So um, employee normally they need to uh, get their paper receipt, uh, recap it manually, and ask for signature from the approver. With Jojonomic application, um, the whole expense reimbursement system is done automatically. So the employee, they, they just need to take picture of the receipt. The amount from the receipt will be captured automatically by the app, and then the whole approval process will go paperlessly. Mm -hmm. And uh, finance and HR at the back end, they can do all the uh, analysis and report just through the app. Inspired to you until the genomic was born? So it actually came from my personal pain points. Mm -hmm. So I used to be a consultant at uh, one of the international consulting firms, and I was traveling a lot at the time. And every week, I need to reimburse all of my expenses, uh, the hotel bills, the travels, the entertainment, everything. It, and it took me like about half an hour every week to just do the, the uh, manual reimbursement. It, and mm. it was like the, the most boring half an hour of the week always. <laughs> and uh, on my uh, next career move, um, I was more on the approver side. I was overseeing 150 people and I was, I, I need to uh, sign one by one uh, this stick of paper that, uh, that uh, get reimbursed every month. Okay. And then I, I um, started to look around and uh, try to find a solution for that uh, problem. And there are some solutions, uh, but they're based in the US, the uh, Europe and Japan. And they ha there, there aren't any uh, expense reimbursement solution from Indonesia and Southeast Asia. Mm. While there are specific needs from the companies in this region, so there come the uh, story of the genomic. We, we started the, the company then. Okay, what's difference with all those applications that you mentioned from uh, among those countries with the same application? What's different from genomics? So there, there are specific needs from companies in this region. For example, is the cash advance. Mm. So when people uh, do um, traveling, they norm normally uh, companies here they, they give the cash in, cash in advance, and that kind of feature is not available in any of our competitor worldwide. Uh, and also um, some small things like uh, the long digit of rupiah. Mm. Uh, our application they support very well the long digit of, of rupiah. Mm. And also we are integrated also with um, some of the local accounting firms as well. So the, okay. the expense reimbursement, once it's uh, approved by the company, it can uh, directly link to the accounting system as well. It helps the users. Yes. How's their reaction when the first time Jojonomics established? Uh, the, the market acceptance was pretty good, uh, surprisingly, mm. and um, we have uh, good feedbacks. And company claims that they can save uh, the, the, the time related to reimbursement up to 70% compared mm. to if it is done manually, and they can save costs as well. They uh, can reduce the amount of fraud and, uh, from, from the uh, expense uh, reimbursement system. And, mm. um, also, yeah. in the other words, we can say that it can reduce uh, practice such as corruption yeah. and yeah. stuff like that if we talk in a bigger uh, scope. Yes, um, there's a fraud detection system there. It can increase the transparencies as well, and the whole um, uh, like policy can be set automatically, so that there is no need to manually check for the uh, limit from each transaction. It is set in the system, and the whole approval process could be done uh, in a, a more uh, advanced way. For example, like every employee could have, or every staff could have different expenses and each of the different expenses could have like different uh, approval routing for example uh, entertainment needs uh, approval from the manager while uh, transport needs uh, approval only from the supervisor and so on 
So there is better control from the organization as well. Okay, Mr. Asto. And then Jojonomic was selected as one of the only seven startups mm -hmm. selected from Indonesia to participate in Google's launchpad in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. What was that like? Can you walk us through the experience? So um, it was quite a priceless experience, actually. So mm -hmm. um, we were there selected among a few startups uh, in Indonesia, and there were also some startups from India and Brazil as well, as well at, at the uh, Launchpad program last January. So um, we had um, good access to uh, Google technology, which is uh, obviously very good. We, the, the whole user experience, user interface get revamped uh, quite dramatically there. Mm -hmm. But what I would say um, a real um, uh, perspective changing experience was uh, the fact that we were working there in the middle of the Google brain. Mm. So we're working there in the middle of the Google headquarters, not on their uh, etalage, but mm. in their headquarters among their developers and seeing how they interact with each other, seeing how they uh, communicate with each other, mm. seeing and really living the atmosphere of the, the, the big tech company like Google. And mm. all the good things that we get from there, we bring back to Indonesia, we bring back to the, the culture and atmosphere in our startup. In order to reach that point, yeah. what will be the biggest challenge that you will have to conquer? At, at the moment, um, it's getting the, the word out there, that getting the word spread. Um, this automated expense reimbursement is something new uh, for most of the companies in the region. And um, this kind of expense, automated expense reimbursement system is only uh, available to be adopted um, by the market in the last two, three years. Uh, mm. Why? Because the last two, three years, uh, almost every smartphone has camera and almost every uh, staff or employees has smartphone, which is not always the case like three, four years ago. Mm. So the, the momentum is now. Uh, but uh, we have the homework to get the word out there, to get the, the uh, to, to, to spread the word that hey, um, there is actually a non-manual way to uh, do your expense reimbursement system, and yeah, hopefully more and more companies will uh, will adopt the system as well.